everyone and welcome back to my Daisha playthrough in the Imperator Augustus campaign. My name is Ben Pope. We are close to capturing Rome itself. Rome has been taken by Latin rebels. Of course, the uh, Macromani owned it, owned it before. There isn't a garrison, so I just have to worry about this full stack of silver rebel, silver chevron rebel army. Um, I have two full stacks of my own here. Um, if you are new to my channel, it's been nice because I've had a few subs the last few days since I made an actual channel trailer. This is a um, campaign, campaign that I'm playing as Daisha and I sort of went uh, like a very barbaric approach to things. I just sort of captured what I thought I need in order to take out my enemies and I have friends all over the place. I only have Tr Tracia as an enemy and I'm thinking of taking them out. Uh, and then here all the Persians are enemies. Uh, Octavian has two uh, the provinces, towns at least, left, um, and I'm, I'm in okay terms with uh, some of the other, like Pompey's Rome, and I'm not in okay terms with Lepidus, but he's about dead anyway. Um, Anthony is the only thing that's really slightly stronger than me still. But it's still tough to kind of kind of fight those Roman armies. Um, I have a few mods that are helping me out with unit selection. Ready for uh, like there's a chariot. Well, Dacians don't have chariots, but Chamblu and his mod and his uh, unit mod pack that adds a ton of units to all the factions. Kind of gives a little flavor, um, like like chariots like that. Uh, let's see, there's a Roman army that ran away from Genoa. Uh, I don't want them to really attack me anywhere, so I'm gonna move that army here. Um, let's see if they come for me. I need to put this guy into this province. Uh, because... I must stop and a while. Yeah, that province, because I need to move this guy. Uh, soon and take Arachilum, 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 something like that. Uh, and you take that province because it's got the marble, and I need more sort of things to trade to make money off of the trade. I don't have that many resources. I think I have like, um, let's see, yep, I'm getting timber and leather and iron, everything else I'm not. So, you know, I'm only making like a few hundred bucks here and there from trade, which is not very much. Not very much at all. This, um, this champion, as I click on it, is going to take out this, uh, actually I want to manipulate him. That's what I wanted. Yes. All right. So now I have a pretty powerful veteran, Appius Calavius Drusus. He's gonna have to train somebody, uh, but I might use him. I put you back here in training, and I'll probably use you guys into here to get some public order. Um. Some of these units are good chevron, but I still want to I am the train them up some more. How is... Eh, we'll wait, we'll wait on poisoning. I think there's a couple of places I want to upgrade. Let's see, food, we're doing okay here. I want to upgrade some farms. Uh, I don't have a farm there. I could upgrade this farm. I also, I also gotta upgrade that, so let's wait for that one. There's some really obvious ones that need an, a farm upgrade. Not that one. Here I'm guessing of, uh, guessing, I'm thinking of getting rid of the trench mine and getting another farm because all of these are gonna use a lot of food to upgrade. And I don't have the food here, I'm, all, I'm already negative three. Um, let's see. 
There's no reason why not to upgrade this. But this place is getting a ton of food. I think that's one of the um, the biggest things uh, when it comes to upgrading everything. You're like, okay, what am I gonna put where? Ugh, help me. How's food here? Food is okay. Let's upgrade this first, and then we'll have to upgrade the farm later. All right, I think my turn is over. I'm gonna pan to this place and see what's going on. I have an onager. Um, I, am I can't poison. I have an army with an onager, and that's what I'm gonna attack here with, so I can take down the wall and make Rome a Dacian city. Oh, and I'm gonna make the uh, military building there, and which because I have the auxilia for everyone mod. It's gonna get me some auxiliary units that are gonna be really cool. Um, like the Saki Akutes, Extraordinary, and Saki Akutes. So I'll have like a really good sword unit. Um, I mean, not that I don't have enough sword units already, but it's nice to have variety, you know? It's nice to have variety. Poor Micromania have been having to fight back so many rebels. <laughs> That's because the because the AI isn't doing the the proper thing of converting the culture over. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm having fun with this campaign. Although only a few people have been watching it, I don't care about that. I'm I'm thinking of of where I will end the campaign. When I first started, I said, you know, hey, it's let's see if we can bring. Uh, a Dacian Emperor into Rome and I, I guess I could do that in a few turns but it won't really get me a victory as far as finishing a campaign um, something happened political intrigue other chiefs got promoted all right well that actually brings me to another good point I'm only at 45% influence which I don't like because I want to be like up here at admired you know and this is messing up my research rate and stuff I won't ever be in civil war problem troubles um, I could bring some of these I have like I have one character I think this is um, a guy I adopted or something like that through a political event um, but I don't know who to put on the bench from the other chiefs. No idea. I might do this game. No, we'll see. And I don't feel like spreading rumors or anything like that, spending money there. I mean, my faction leader is 55 years old. He's got 661 gravitas, which is insane. I can promote him to elder. Now he's a war chief. I might do stuff like that eventually. Alright, let's see what kind of army this is. Gonna sabotage, 95% chance of poisoning. Uh, you know... Sure, I'll... I'll maybe I'll wait another turn and then hit them. I'm going with this army in because I have these noble swords that I can just hop on the walls and... and be a good match for their um, engineers. My other units won't be that strong. Uh, I have some skirmishing and I have this onager. I could also put this other army um, to help fight. But the idea is uh, that I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see the battle. I'm not going to just auto resolve it. So even if my odds are like insane in my favor, I'll still want to see the battle uh, because On the move, lads. Um, because I want to see Rome how Rome looks all right this this army is ready uh, we have like some lower tier swords medium tier spears we have some noble 
horsemen and noble swords. We have a white calf. Um, that's also a skirmishing calf, so that's nice. We got good uh, javelin men. And we have some really good archers. Yeah. Okay. So you are ready to you are ready to move. Why don't we move you in force march? As far as possible. We have our friends moving their armies around. Let's convert this. Um, that's gonna give me a ton of money, and I'm gonna convert this to a farm. Yeah, I'm using up my money with that, but it's okay. It's okay. How you guys doing? Let's get rid of you. Back into town. <sighs> Get moving, you wretched. Crap. All right. Let's level him up. What's he got here? Experience. Uh, not much new recruitment cost. I don't have to. Rec don't really need to recruit. Get damage to both of these. Now some of these units are going to be. Pretty nice attack and defense and stuff. The Halisi took this place. Okay, so I really have to grab that. I, I kind of don't want to, but um, if I don't, then I probably won't have another chance to grab. Um, It's called marble. I now have wine. Let's do this grove of Der Zelas because that will get me the most influence, I think, public order as well. No. This is for influence as well. Um, wealth from sources. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm gonna take Rome anyway, and I'll have other sources of benefits. I've used up my money. Okay. You come into here. Uh, you will. Train. Call that a weapon? Now they, how can you I will go in here and you do your stuff. I am a sage of the forest. And you will also go in here the road goes ever on and, on. and do your stuff. The gods will watch over us. I guess that's gonna bring up. It's gonna be my my public order. It's gonna be good for that for that reason. Um, I don't really worry about that force. Uh, legionaries are plenty here, so let's poison them. Poison wells! Okay, we have a skill up. Maybe mass poisoning is in order. And we have. Uh, there's still like 300 leg legionaries there. Veteran legionaries and 92 regular legionaries. Ah, all right. So we have used up our money. Uh, moved everyone, I believe. Uh, this guy's supposed to train people, but he can't train anyone yet. Um. Yeah, we'll leave him here on the border. 
there was a place that I demolished previous turn, right? I don't want it to go into slums. Oh, I'm, I'm demolishing right now. I thought I had a turn's end before I did that. Or after I did that, anyway. I'm losing my mind. Or something, I'm losing something. Warriors all! Ancestors! Um, Roman armies are running away from their town. Huh. Oh, Octavian, how your rule has ended. We're actually one of our uh, German allies fought uh, Octavian's army and nothing was left of it. So he should be dead. Yeah. If you are enjoying these series, um, leave a like and comment. Uh, the specific Tasha series has been kind of a hit and miss for people. Like, if I name trade agreement. Our merchants are welcomed across all the world for the wealth they bring. Why should your lands be any different? You're at war with Iberia. You know what? I'll take it, but that might make the Iberians mad, and I'm at, I'm in friendly terms with Iberia. Um, yeah, so do like the video if you are enjoying it, and comment with, with, with something telling me what you think of, of this campaign. And if you would like me to do anything specific as, as far as actually um, going towards one of the victory conditions um, that the game has set in, or just gonna make, make our own victory conditions, if that's okay with you guys. Okay, that was... Assassinate the following character. Calidia Aquello. Where is he at? I'm sorry, where is he at? He's he's there. Okay, alright, I'll I'll give out on that. Ready for battle! Give out on that. I don't have a spy around. Uh, let's see, where's How this guy's close. This guy's here. Uh, I can bring this guy here. Bring this guy here. And we're gonna do counterintelligence. Save secrets. Okay. Let's take out more of these guys. Successful sabotage. That should be good enough. Ready for orders. None will escape. Very good, actually. I... I know I'm not having any fights, but... Uh, do I loot and then raise? There's not much in here, so... Uh, let's just raise it. Thirsty for battle! For the tribe! That makes it so... Yeah, I can just... I can just convert right away. Okay, so we need... Um, we're gonna need food, and we're gonna need a temple. And the... Have of me? Army sitting around. Oh, let's find out. Oh, I already did something with this guy. Shoot. Ready for battle. What are your chances to assassinate a person? 49%? What are your chances to assassinate this person? 39%. Oh, let's try it. And if, 
and if, and if. <laughs> I'm trying to continue the sentence while I'm clicking on the person and I've been not clicking. If this guy succeeds, then that's the end of Octavian's... What happened? I am the oh, he has no bloody moving points. Darn it. Why didn't I think of that? Because he moved from there with the army. Oh, that... Uh. Just counting on it, man. Um, what's quick and... Everything is five turns. Rest of the town. Okay, here. Have they recouped at all? Uh, no. Just sabotage. I'll just success. Yeah, that's good. I still want the bleak is dead. So if you could do that, that would be great. How's um? All right, let's do this. Go into here. And we have a siege weapon. Um, let's see. It's gonna be minus 17. Let's check my time. See if I have a few minutes to actually put this battle in. You know what, I probably do. Let's do that. To their hovels. We're gonna capture Rome for ourselves. Yeah, Battle of Roma, year five BC. History in the making. It's probably not what it's supposed to be looking like. This doesn't look like a Rome to me. I don't. I don't think it is much of a. It was owned by uh, Macromani, so it looks like a barbarian town. Disappointed. Where is? Where is it? Where's the? Where's the awesome buildings? Not that this isn't awesome. I mean that's. Amazing. Okay. I am hoping for... An easy break-in. Uh, we're gonna put our swords... On the front line. And uh, we're gonna put our archers... These armored spears really don't need. I don't think I need the. I really don't think I need the letters. Letters. If I do, they'll be right there. So. Spectral lancers. We'll kill them all. Keep those guys in reserves. Well, as well, these guys, you're supposed to be with with you. Okay. Warriors eager for blood. Group and waiting. I have a, I have a habit of everybody being in a <laughs> almost everybody being in a group. All right, I think we're ready. We're gonna fire. Um, 
Why are there? What kind of damage did we do with the first volley? 5% damage. Okay, damage 7%. Okay. Bowman! What does it look like? Huh. Okay, I want... Uh Archers to move in, their range to get me is over here. Probably gonna target some of these militaries. As you say! Hurry up a little bit. Get those guys. Gate house, gate damage. I might not go down with the ammo I have. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, that was my uh, that was my uh. Oh, the gate is open. All right. Okay. All right. We need. Guys, to fire on the abilities. Move these guys in. Disappointed about how Rome looks. Uh, unfortunately, I'm also barbaric faction, so I'm not going to be making. I'm not going to be making it look a lot better. So, that is that. Um, I could do, I could do loose spacing, but I don't That's feel like it. Why can we not go in? Uh. Apparently, the gatehouse is not ready. Is it ready now? The enemy's gates have been destroyed. There we go.
Chile is in there. Gatehouse ours yet. We hunger for blood and battle. Riders ready! Riders forward! All right, we need somebody. Our units has used all its ammunition. <laughs> My guys have like no uh, no punching power. They can stay out there. What's going on with my uh, view in this town? But. The enemy general is dead. Riders, advance! Dacians! Um, all right, you guys go Over. here. Chariots, some dudes. Okay, no, chariots, guys. 
where are you guys? Ready for battle! Cut forward! As you say! Armored spears! Mighty chariots! Alright. We'll kill them all! Mangako! Where are battle all these spear guys? Battle ready! All right. I was not liking the tight corridors there, but Silver Chevron Latin Rebels in a town that didn't look much like Rome because it's all barbaric. That is the Battle for Rome. And if you're five, we see. Um, let's do race for the tribe. You guys can sit there. Wait, I can only repair. All right, so we want, uh, Commons, we want a. I want the Warriors Lodge. Nah. I want a temple. And I want a uh, military building. Let's upgrade this. Alright. Guys, that is all the time I have for today, but look at this, we captured Rome. We are like... I don't, my borders are not connected here, I don't like it. Uh. So, that means I need, uh, is there a port city? This is a port town. Okay, so we'll have to take this. So we have a port connection to our uh, other provinces. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all that nice stuff. And I will see you next time.